This is Twit. So um, tell us a bit about, I suppose, a quick overview of what Friend of Career is, the kind of short elevator pitch, and then we'll back up and dip into things. So what exactly is Friend of Career? How do you describe it to people? So Friendica is a platform to you run your own social network and you can also feather it with other Friendica nodes or Diaspora or Mastodon using um, open source protocols. Hmm. And you mentioned Mastodon. So is it related to uh, Diaspora then? It, both projects aren't related to each other and they can't uh-huh. speak to each other. Um, okay. But at Friendica, we made a point of supporting the most um, most protocols possible. So we are able to communicate with Mastodon users and Diaspora mm. users. That's excellent. Is it something so, so a few years ago, um, I used Identica. I don't know if you ever used that. Um, yes. That was, um, yeah, so I know Evan who set up Identica and um he was a guest on another show that I did, and um, he was telling us about the open microblogging protocol that they were he was pushing and, and they were trying to get going at the moment. So obviously with Twitter and other things dominating, I mean Twitter basically won didn't it in the end, but Twitter dominating that whole kind of uh, microblogging area. They wanted a protocol that so rather than being like walled gardens in the old days, like you had your email, like if I was on AOL and you were on something else, you couldn't talk to each other. That seems a bit stupid. So um, they want to have an open microblogging blogging protocol. So do you is that similar you have an op- you just have open protocols that you use yes exactly so there are like a few protocols like um, os status and more recently um, activity pub that have been designed to with decentralization in in mind hmm, excellent so um how did you come to get involved with the project then so in uh 2016 i was still perfectly happy on facebook and uh, mm. my account was frozen because I was not using, using my official name. Mm. And oh, I right, didn't okay. want to. Sorry, yeah, I didn't want to submit um, a government ID, so I looked for alternatives. And I first settled on Diaspora, um, but I couldn't contribute myself to the project because I didn't know any Ruby. So I looked for another project that was also decentralized that I could contribute to, and I landed on Frenica, who is in um, in PHP. Hmm. Excellent. So um, you mentioned it's in PHP. So I haven't done much with Diaspora. I remember there was a big fuss about it. I know it's in Rails. I did look at, at that much of it, I suppose. I remember there yes. was a big fuss. They got like a load of VC funding or something. The four people that set it up, I think, got a phenomenal amount of VC funding. But it feels like, I don't know how popular it is these days. You, you'll obviously know better than me, or or maybe you don't because you've moved on. But I looked at it and went, oh, well, there's nobody here, and it doesn't feel like anybody's setting up their own pods and linking them and stuff at the time. This is years ago. And I've never really gone back. So do you think do you think it's still going? Is it still going? I, I know I realize I'm asking you about the wrong project here, but we will get back onto Friendica in a minute, I, I promise. Well, it is important for us because more diaspora nodes would mean we have access to more users. We can communicate with more, uh, interact uh, yeah, with more users. So it is, it is um, uh, still um, relevant. Um, Mm. As of right now, there are about 200 diaspora nodes with 700,000 users, according to Mm. the public statistics. That's quite quite a lot. Um, So, of course, yeah, I hadn't thought of that. But as you said, you've got this communication ability to communicate between the two things. So I suppose if they get more users, it is beneficial as well. Yeah, and it's it was especially true with Mastodon, who p- popularity has skyrocketed in the, in the last year. Mm. Is that something to do with GNU Social? Am I am I getting that confused with something else? It is something else, but we are also <laughs> compatible with it. <laughs> Uh, cool. Okay, so uh, that was obviously I've I've let that question question slip out now, but I've looked at GNU Social and, and and what they're trying to do with Free Software Foundation and so on. Um, so that does that relate to what you guys are doing? Absolutely, they are using the OS status protocol, which we are compatible with. So we are able to uh, also interact with uh, new social uh, users. Mm, 
Excellent. That, that's really, really good. I suppose the point here, which is really obvious, and, and we've kind of, I've already said it a few times, but you really need services to be able to talk to each other because otherwise they're all walled gardens. And, you know, hopefully on Floss Weekly, we'd, we, we'd support that, that kind of message that, you know, things should talk to each other so you can exchange and open protocols and so on and then work on your software and make sure it talks to each other. So that's obviously really important to, to, to you guys. Is that, does, does, it, does that drive people to, to come and use Friendica, you think? Do you think, do you get a lot of people who just come because they want the the political side yes, or the free side? Definitely. Um, for example, I came from Diaspora and I moved over to Friendica and I was able to keep all my contacts on Diaspora. So it is a, a big plus. Um, additionally, we're supporting um, like proprietary connectors, for example, with Twitter. Mm. So mm-hmm. I was able to keep my Twitter account and um, like received all the message in Frenica directly. Mm. And that is really cool. 